In this workflow, we will show how to create a deep steering cube. A steering cube contains, at every sample position, the dip in the inline and crossline direction of the seismic event. These dips can be displayed as an overlay on seismic sections. The deep steering is a key concept in Open Detect and it is defined as the process of following seismic reflectors by auto-tracking the pre-calculated deep field from a given starting position. It is used to compute deep-steered multi-trace attributes like similarity, neural network-based probability such as chimney cubes and fault cubes that include many deep-steered attributes. It computes as well attributes directly from the steering cube like the curvature attributes, deep and azimuth, used as well to apply deep-steered filters like the deep-steered median and fault enhancement filter that we will cover in the next exercise. One of the main uses is the auto-track horizons like Horizon Cube Auto Tracker, which tracks thousands of horizons directly from the deep field, and the conventional amplitude and similarity tracker that can optionally include the deep to constrain the tracker, and the new Inversion Plus tracker. Depending on the process and the seismic data, we can generate more than one steering cube. The algorithm parameters and level of filtering can be tested and optimized accordingly. The deep steering cube is computed from processing. Deep steering creates 3D. We select the original seismic as input. We keep the PCA, the principal component analysis algorithm selected. It produces relatively smoother deep and azimuth estimates of the seismic reflection. The advantage of this technique that is faster with the built-in structural oriented smoothing. With the calculation step out of 111, the deep is computed within a small cube of 333 samples around each sample in consideration. Depending on the application of the steering cube, you may need more smoothing. This can always be done afterwards. If you are going to use the steering cube for horizon tracking and conformity tracker, inversion plus tracker and horizon cube, for example, then we do advise to toggle the planarity to on, as this is quality measure is used by these algorithms. We are going to apply a median filter of 2 to 5 as a step out on the row dips. And finally, we recommend to test the optimal parameters for your data and your application on a subset of data before you compute the full volume. To save time, we will set the volume subselection to 10 in line only from 420 to 430 and OK. We give the output uh, steering cube name as PCA 111 MF 225. It is recommended to use the steering cube parameter it is name and run. Close the progress viewer window when the process finish. We add the default data by right clicking on the inline at default data and again we right click on the inline 425 to display the detailed steering cube add attributes steering and we select the PCA 111 MF 225 the component should be run on the cross line deep and OK we can change the color bar from seismic to pastel to be able to co-visualize the seismic and the crossline component of the deep we right click on the PCA 111 MF 225 and go to display change transparency that we set to 50% and OK 
If more filtering is required to improve the horizon tracking, for example, or the deep steered filters, we can apply a recursive Gaussian filter to the newly created PCA steering cube, as this is extremely fast process. The recursive Gaussian filter is available only on the OpenDetect Pro. If you are using a free version of OpenDetect, for additional smoothing, we recommend to apply the average filter instead of median, as the median filter was already applied during the steering cube computation to remove the spikes. For this optional additional step, we can go to Processing, Deep Steering, Filter, 3D, select the new created deep steered cube, PCA111MF225 and select the filter to recursive Gaussian. The step out to 552 and output name according to the parameters we have set, then run. When the process finished, we can close the window. This generates smoother looking results. This concludes the deep steering cube calculation workflow.